Hey, what's going on, YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Mark. Please remember to slash that like button and make sure this isn't your last time. So why don't you just go on ahead and annihilate that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell. Also, leave me comments down below. But I think I've talked enough, so let's just jump straight into this video. Let's go! Jordy's a mega con. It ain't a Metallica Halo on fire. Let's see what this is about. Oh, I love that guitar riff. to pause that real quickly because that um, one guitar riff of how he did it it almost sound like a run how you would sing how a singer would sing and then drop right down and then go on a run I like that let me take that back if you understand what I'm saying sorry for pausing it Okay, with me seeing them bruises, I'm trying to figure out, for some reason, now I'm starting to think, okay, is she like in an abu has, has she been in an abusive relationship by seeing all those bruises and scars on her body? I'm not sure, but I'm very interested to see where Metallica is taking this video for Halo on Fire. And also, like what I said, I don't know if you guys heard me because I actually said it while the guitar and the drums were playing, but I love how intimate they are with their fans, like how up close and personal they are. They're very tangible and like engaged with them. Them, like right in this like in the center with them surrounding them I like that that's dope let me take this back Beautiful monster. 
What's so crazy is that what I like about this so far is that this is connecting so much more on like a personal level to me because this makes me almost see the lens of how my mom used to live of growing up as a child before I entered the foster care system especially when I was like if, if I'm following the story correctly and I'm listening to the lyrics like it's still early on so I'm still like a like real like ahead of time before getting deep into the storyline and the format but it's giving me like I'm seeing like the scars and the abuse it looked like she's been in an abusive relationship I don't know if who who where where it's coming from or if it's coming from drugs I don't know because you can also get I know you can also get scar from drugs as well but it's definitely taking me back into that mind frame of how my mom used to be and but and the way I used to view her and how people used to see her as well of uh, being a an, a, an abused woman and especially it's with that woman who came up to her and was like are you okay and she just kept on going and just kept pushing forward and act like the lady didn't even exist so this is like touching like a real personal chord and real personal space with me and really resonating with me so i'm really anxious to see where metallica is about to take this video because whoa this is deep i like this And I want to pause it right here because I also want to say that I love that they're capturing the essence in the cinematography and the visualizations in black and white because it gives it that much more of an aesthetically, um, it gives it more of an aesthetic nostalgic beauty if that makes sense where you're paying attention to it where it's like giving it almost like this self-reflective state almost and I'm going to speak more about that towards the end of this um, reaction because it's really re reminiscent this song Halo on Fire is really reminiscent of one of my um if you're new to my channel is really reminiscent to my um one of my um, spoken word poems that I share with um, my subscribers called Icy Hell which is one of my mark under the microscope series that I've done but I'm going to go into it deeper once I finish this but let's jump back into this
What? Whoa, they got her fighting a man? What? Oh, whoa, okay. I was not expecting that. Whoa, I gotta take that back. is almost as master of puppets. Whoa, Jenny, I so love the next that. Episode a, was Peter from Kaleido? Okay, get off get off my screen. We we're, we're here about Metallica, not about that. Okay, so <laughs> um let's quickly talk about Metallica with um Halo on Fire and um I first want to sit here and say that I loved this video, the visualization. I love the concept. I love the cinematography. I love the song. I thought the song was absolutely phenomenal and absolutely beautiful. What I love the most, and I don't know if I'm going to sit here and preface this right, so please correct me if I'm wrong, anybody who's still watching this reaction, if I'm going too far left and off on a tangent. But when I think about this song, it's really putting me in a, in a state of thinking about how we sit there and view the world through other people's eyes almost. And the reason why I say that is because as I was listening to the lyrics and as I was watching, it really reminded me of my Mark Under the Microscope Icy Hell series um, poem thing that I share with everybody with my earlier subscribers. If you haven't seen it, you can um, watch that and see what I mean by that. But it's basically my Mark Under the Microscope is to give you guys an inside look as to who I am as a person beyond like these music reactions and to see like the life that I had to cut, go through and like the struggles I had to go through. But it really put me in a space where it really made me reflect upon how I spoke about um, seeing life through my mom's eyes and removing myself from the drug addiction that I witnessed and removing the hurt and the anger and the pain that I had towards my mother and viewing life through the eyes of how people viewed her. So I had to sit there and speak of her story of 
prostitution. I spoke about her story as being an, an addict abusing drugs. I spoke about her um, abusing alcohol and just being abused by um, different men and being raped and things like that. And these are like all um, situations that I had to experience as such a at such a young age as a child at 11 and 12 years old that no child should have to go through where it was to the point where I actually used to get up in the middle of the night and basically leave the house and walk and wander the streets of New York just so I didn't sit there and hear my mom do with, with her company with the drugs and alcohol where I didn't sit there and actually witness her sitting there with the prostitution and all that because I used to hear that at night and not even sometimes it didn't even happen at night there were times where throughout the day where I would be sitting there trying to do homework and she would be turning tricks in the other room and I would be like right there and I would just have to get up and just like physically remove myself and walk and just go for a walk and just like escape the harsh reality of what was my world and what my and what my life was and that's what I kind of feel like Metallica did I felt like they were telling a story of her halo being on fire by telling her story through her eyes and speaking it from her existence and her experience and speaking her story and like that's what I had to do from my for from when I did my mark under the microscope where I was sitting there speaking about my mom's story like yeah I could have so much hate and yeah I could have so much anger and pain towards her but yeah I have to sit there and realize and I have to t share that semblance and that story of what she had to deal with and what she goes with on a daily basis and how people view her and how people tend to ostracize her and and hate her and attack her and she can sit there and try to change her life and want to be better and do better but people are still going to label her as that other. They're still going to label her as an addict. They're still going to label her as that abused woman. They're still going to label her as that rape victim because, and this is another thing that I can share with you guys, I've a actually witnessed my mom being raped. Not once, not twice, but I witnessed her a couple of, like quite a few times be raped by men at a very young age and cannot do anything about it. Like, and that is crazy for a child to have to sit there and witness. So I had to sit there and speak about these. And so when I sit there and speak about that, this whole track reminds me of my Icy Hell poem is basically me speaking about me thinking that Metallica is ingratiating themselves and embodying her story and speaking it from her eyes and her lens and telling the story through her eyes and how the world outside world and how outside reality tends to view who she is and her womanhood and who she is as a, a person not only just her womanhood but just her as a human being just in general and I think that this was phenomenal like I just I at, when when they took the story I didn't even know where it was gonna go like at first I thought it was a story about just like uh, uh, like maybe it was gonna be like a family and she was abused and things like that but to see that it was like some type of street fighting ring and that she was involved in things like that and making a lifestyle for herself if I'm if I'm putting this and correlating the story correctly this was deep and this was amazing Metallica is just so gifted and what I'm starting to learn about them as a metal band is that they really have this star quality of giving me this um rapper-esque type of vibe where you get old where you got an old school hip-hop and rap where you have amazing storytelling capability and that they are doing that this was a body like I could sit there and say this was earth core past the crust going to the core digging under and burying a body up under the body up under the body that was amazing like i love that i i loved everything about it i love the resiliency i loved ev like everything that it encompassed everything it showed because it like it really spoke to me on a such a personal level and just the things that I had to go through as a child and then me being able to stand well not stand but sit in front of you guys in front of this camera now and be able to speak about my life and having four degrees having a criminal justice degree having um a um, uh, African American Studies degree, having two master's degrees, one in architecture and urban and regional planning, and one in American Studies, and then me trying to go on to law school now and just seeing how I could have let 
that defeat me and let my halo stay on fire and not and forget sort of the angel of who I am and what cre and God, what God created me to be and the beast that God created me to be to feast through this life. I could have sat there and succumbed to all of those secrets, but I sat there and didn't allow that to happen. I just beasted through it and, sh and showcased that I really had a greater purpose and a higher calling. And I love that Metallica embraced that and put that on full display. That was amazing. Whoa, like that was deep i love that like master of puppets one halo on fire are you kidding me like i can't even rate this i can't rate this and i'm not gonna rate this if i rate this i would do a huge disservice and i sh and and i would need to get slapped if i sat there and rated this and knocked out if i tried to rate this that was a masterpiece i loved it so let me know what you thought of halo on fire by Metallica in the comments below. And with that being said, please remember to be safe out there. Remember to stay awesome. Be awesome because you guys are all awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is your boy Mark and I'm signing off. Deuces. Peace. Call me Megatron. Jordy's a Megacon. It ain't about the race either. It's a marathon. Uh -huh.